best memories just from the beginning is just when I met my best friend when I met my boy uh, Lester the training session was over and then I saw this tall big-headed kid doing these moves at the end of practice then I went over and started doing some moves and then he started doing some and then we were just competing for like 20 minutes and then that's how we became best friends I just remember games where Lester would have like five goals and I'd have four goals and then my dad and the other coach Ula would get like complaints from other teams saying that we're like intentionally running up the score or parents saying that we're overage, we need to go back to Africa, <laughs> stuff like that. But it was that was like a weekly basis. So I mean that was that stuck out to me the most. That was that was great. The good thing about the Roadrunners was we had guys from like different cultural backgrounds. And different backgrounds, like from all over the, the state, pretty much. We had guys from Baltimore, we had guys from down here in Silver Spring, we had guys from uh, Chevy Chase, Bethesda, all different places, all of us coming together to, to form this one team, like a, an all-star team, kind of. We spent so much time together. And the main thing that they emphasized at the Roadrunners was creativity, being yourself, you know, uh, bringing what you bring to the table. So expressing yourself, and that's that's what we that's all we did really. Like, we just got on the pitch and had fun, extreme, extreme amounts of fun. It was funny. It was funny um, because he would be like extra hard on me, and like he would say stuff to me, and then the guys would like clown me, <laughs> clown me a little bit in the back. Like, if I had a bad game, he'd be like. Man, I don't know, man. That game was poor, man. <laughs> you know? So that kind of like drove me into the next game. Be like, all right, I got to be on point, man. I got to be on point this time. But it always kept me, it always kept me sharp. You know, it always kept me sharp. Overseas to, to Hoffenheim, it was, it was, a, I won't say an eye opener, but just like seeing the tradition of the sport, you know, how, how, much weight it carries with the fans like the everyday life the city's team like the team was their life you know their... and I just remember signing that door but man I was like man okay I can say like this the doors is opening like it's happening so get in there playing with like Aubameyang, Mats Hummels, Mkhitaryan, um, Gundogan, Pizcek, Marco Royce like Bro, big name, big names, you know? Um, and not even, like, it didn't even look like I was out of place, you know? Playing for Jurgen Klopp at the time as well. That Jurgen Klinsmann called my phone, you know, called me into the national team. I ended up playing, with, you know, that good game against Czech Republic, and then I was like, man, this is it. Go back to Dortmund, and then Klopp is in there. Before I get in the locker room and he makes everybody clap for me. He makes everybody like stand up and clap for me for my first game with the national team. I was like, yeah, it was his first game, everybody. And I'm just sitting there like, wow, man. I remember, cause it's just so funny, man. I just remember coming home after school, going to training and then on days, cause like my mom and dad, they were both working all the time. So if my dad had another session, I would just catch the Metro home and I'd be out with my cousins and stuff. And we would just be like, oh, who's got 50 cents to go and like get some taquitos from 7-Eleven, like dirty food. <laughs> to now like we're in the locker room at Borussia Dortmund, man, playing in front of 80,000 fans. Like I said, I never felt like I was out of place though. You know, just from uh, the foundation that, that was built over here. Melting pot, you know. I would say it's a melting pot for sure. Just so many different demographics, you know, different backgrounds, all coming together for once for this sport. You know what I mean? Um, and that's how my experience was was growing up.
it the amount of talent. That's what I would say. That's what makes it special. Because, you know, if you had a couple one-offs here and there, the whole area the level wouldn't be as good as it is. It's like the reason that we have so many good players, that's the reason why we keep producing more and more. Because the competition level is, is very high. It's like, it's where my heart is. So I can always, wherever I am, after I've already been playing for us such a long time, I can always come back here and know that I have a home here. Know that I got people that, you know, care about me. I care about them. Um, yeah, just you know, all the connections that I've made. This is, this is my home.